Welcome back Interior Alaska. Joe Cook here this Monday night with your weekend recap in local sports. It's not how any defending champion wants to end their season in hopes of a repeat, but the Ice Dog season ended in Game 3 of the Midwest Division Finals on Friday night at the Dipper. Fairbanks, they led 3 to nothing at the end of the first period, but the Minnesota Wilderness scored six unanswered goals to sweep the Ice Dogs with a 6-3 win. They advanced to the Robson Cup semis. Fairbanks finished with 43 wins this season and consecutive Midwest Division titles. This year, Jesper Orval and Tyler Tomlin excited us with two of the best goals you'll ever see. Cherylon Mondry and Ryan Gorowski were all NAHL picks. Fairbanks won a number of division honors as well. Defenseman Johnny Mueller committed to Division I American International College of the Atlantic Hockey Conference early Friday. That means 12 Ice Dogs players have committed to colleges this year. Here's Ice Dogs head coach Trevor Stewart, who put the series and season in perspective. Hats off to our guys. They faced everybody's best game every single night and found a way to win 40 games, which isn't an easy thing to do. And get a regular season championship, found a way to win a win a series, and I believe 11 college commitments. And uh, we just we just weren't good enough at the end of the end of the year here. And uh, it's unfortunate because we knew we can do better. And uh, we lost to a very good team, and and um, we wish them best of luck. The first full interior track and field meet took place at Lathrop High School this past weekend. The weather was prime for a track meet for interior Alaska. There hasn't been weather like this in a couple of years, and the kids took full advantage. West Valley won the girls' division with 191 points. Connie, who brought the full team, they were second, and Lathrop was third. Lathrop, they won the boys' division, toweling 196 points. West Valley was second and Colony finished third and one through three A. The Tri the Tri Valley girls they won, followed by Hutchinson. They were fourth and fifth overall. The Allison Ravens boys team they won their division, followed by Monroe. For full results, visit the sports page on WebCenter11.com. Saturday, one interior soccer team was left to try and prevent the South Anchorage Wolverines from sweeping local teams on their road trip. The North Pole boys, though, they lost 4 to nothing to the Wolverines. The undefeated North Pole girls, they faced South, the defending state champions, who beat West Valley 7-2 on Friday and beat previously unbeaten late at 4 to nothing on Thursday. The Patriots fell behind early as the Wolverines scored twice in the first 10 minutes of the game. But Savannah Moisson put the pass on the board at the 54th minute. But South captain Kayla Sims, she scored twice in the second half to secure a 4-1 win. That was North Pole's first loss of the season. They are now 4-1-1. One one. In high school softball, we start the recap with an interesting matchup that happened Friday night. Lathrop and Hutchinson battled in their first matchup of the season in a non-conference game. Three former Malamutes transferred to Hutchinson, so these squads know each other pretty well. It was a close game throughout, but Lathrop's Jess Hall gets contact on a pitch from former Malamute Kimmy Duffield, and she was scoring inside the park home run to give Lathrop a 2-0 lead. There was a collision at first base. And this one, Hutchinson, Sydney Jacobs, she would not return to the game, displaying some toughness there. Kelly Reagan was inside the circle for Lathrop, and the defense, they backed her up. Lathrop wins this one 3 to nothing on Friday night. And other softball games from over the weekend, West Valley, they went big over Lathrop, 15-1 on Saturday. Autumn Hendry goes 2-3 for three with two ribbies and three runs scored. Kyra Loom went the distance with seven Ks and one earn. West Valley still undefeated to start the year. North Pole, they swept Delta Junction on the road on Saturday, winning 13 to nothing and 14 to seven. Kennedy Shimura was a perfect four for four with three ribbies in game one. And Beth Daly was three for three with four RBIs in game two. And there were lots of nice, nice plays. After a full week of local sports action, we picked the best of the best for this week's I-5 interior top five plays. Starting off at number five, Braden DeWeese beats Monroe defenders to the ball, and he gets the angle and the goal, one of his two goals in a 5 to nothing win over the Rams on Wednesday. Number four, Brandon Becker's RBI double against Delta Junction ignites 12 unanswered runs as the Patriots win 12-2 to over the Huskies on Saturday. At number three, Tyler Tomberlin of the Ice Dogs goes five-hole, converting the penalty shot, giving Fairbanks a 3 to nothing lead in game three on Friday night. That play came in a 6-3 loss to the Wilderness. At number two, the West Valley Wolfpack sweep the third 200-meter races in the first track and field meet of the year as sophomore Jen DeFalco and junior Spencer Heron placed first for the pack. At number one, one of the best clutch plays of the year, bottom of the six, full count and two outs, 
North Pole's Paige Shimura hits a walk-off two-run inside the park home run to lift the Patriots to their first win of the season, 4-3 over Lathrop on Thursday. To vote for the Player of the Week, click on your play on the I-5 poll on WebCenter11.com. You can also comment on the KTVF Facebook and YouTube posts and send a tweet to KTVF11 Sports on Twitter for your vote. The Player of the Week will be revealed this Friday. The I-5 Sports Report is brought to you by Adiant Orthopedic Physical Therapy. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Mike Schultz is next with your four with a forecast, and we'll catch you next time.